And we heard from Qatar Airways earlier, one of the world's biggest airlines, hoping to get back to carrying hundreds of passengers in every plane soon. Well, my next guest's planes carry a bit fewer than that, but it's been one part of the global aviation industry that's done well during the pandemic, private jets. AirX has seen a boost in bookings from wealthy travellers looking for a safer way to travel and by carrying PPE in and out of China. Well, John Matthews is the founder and chief executive of AirX, and he joins me now. John, morning to you. You've obviously had a great time in terms of uh, private jet. Your commercial uh, business didn't fare so well. I guess that was to be expected. Absolutely. Uh, group travel was non-existent, so we had to revise our business strategy there and retire those aircraft. Uh, they went to America, and then we grew the core business, which is private jet travel, and at the same time converted the world's largest private jet into cargo, which is near completion now to roll out it with cargo nets. Do you anticipate a drop off in demand for private jet use as commercial aviation restarts in, in uh, bigger numbers? I believe that the, the way that the private jets is seen has changed forever. So I can see a surge of bookings coming this, this summer, which I think will, will, will maintain for many years to come. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, what are the most popular routes? Well, it's interesting. You know, before the pandemic, it was cities. Um, and we see that now changing to remote islands. Uh, we see villa hire uh, replacing hotel use. So, and a lot of yacht hire uh, around the world. So, where it's hard, airports close to ports, harbours, etc. So, it's uh, it's become less city and more islands. In in short. Now, the biggest uh, airline in your fleet, you, you, own, uh, you own an uh, Airbus A340. Do you, do you expect to pick up similar sized aircraft as some of the big commercial carriers uh, strip down their fleets? I do. I see some opportunities uh, coming up there. And, and we've, as I say, taken out 100 life flat seats and a bar and now converted that aircraft for cargo. So I see us growing in the cargo area as well as private jets, which is unique. I, I, I don't think there's many operators which have private jets and cargo operation together. So I do see us kind of diversifying there, which will uh, which will help our growth. And in terms of uh, the cargo, as we mentioned in the introduction, you've been carrying a lot of PPE and uh, so forth. What will the um, cargo mix look like 12 months from now when hopefully we're back to normal? I have no idea, actually. Um, it's a very good question, and I don't really know that much about cargo. I just know that there's not much work for my A340 at the moment, so I've converted it. So right. I'll be able to come on here and tell you how I've done with that once uh, once we start operation. Well, my director just said whiskey, so let's hope he's right there. <laughs> yes, perhaps. <laughs> now, look, before the pandemic, uh, you were thinking about an IPO. You did a bit of preparatory work along those lines. Is that something that you might dust off and uh, have another look at now? I have no doubt. Next year we'll hold an IPO. I don't know what quarter. I know we can't do it in quarter one because we've got to have audited accounts. So we need to get that quarter out of the way for that process. But having got the IPO timeline uh, wrong a few times, I now know what's involved. So I'm ready for it next year. And I think it's the right time for us to come to market. Uh, we're supported by Investec. They've supported us all the way. It's a fantastic bank to have on board. And I think that we'll be coming to market next year, a dividend stock with a, a decent discount to the peer group and will be pricing for longevity, which is the most important thing. The IPO, in my mind, is actually the beginning rather than any sort of exit. Now, you've flown some quite interesting people over the years, sports crews. I think you two have uh, flown with you in the past. What's uh, yes. been the more interesting ones lately? Um, well, working for the World Health Organization was quite something. I didn't expect that to come up uh, ever in our books. So being part of the uh, a very small part, I, I, I admit, but uh, being part of the pandemic uh, with regards to helping cure it was was, was quite uh, interesting. Other than that, we've seen quite a, an uptick in, in government flights, uh, head of state flights. They've always, you know, been present, but, but a lot more now that the connectivity is not so available. All right, John Matthews, very good to talk to you. Hopefully uh, we'll see you again when the IPO gets a bit closer. I hope so too. Thank you for having me.